Okay, quick tutorial on how to use Madbo Max. First, you create your account. Once you are in your account, the first thing you want to do is go down there and add the bank accounts that you will be used. That's the very first step because everything will come from one of those bank accounts that you add. It could be Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Just put your bank, the balance, and then the type um, of account it is, if it's cash, card, or e-wallet, and um, if it's active or inactive, and then click Add Account. Once you do that, then you can start um, adding transactions in your account. Um, so you go to your settings and then go on in categories. You want to put which categories you're going to spend money on, like you, your mortgage, for example, credit cards, your utilities. Um, those are the categories you have to set up in order to choose them when you either spend when you're spending money. Okay, so credit card is one of them. Add category, and you also have the option. Um, you can add more categories, of course, loans and categorize everything. You have the option to change your profile picture, um, put something that looks nice to you. To you. Um, and then from there, you want to go to your income. Okay, you see the expenses, income, and budget. That's how you manage every single thing. Um, <clears throat> so let's go to your income because you want to have some income in order to spend, right? <laughs> Add income. If it's your salary, you put your salary there. Um, and you want to go to add expenses after that. So, for example, your mortgage is one, one expense. And then you can compare that to the budget. You can see part of it is your mortgage. And the budget will tell you what to expect to spend. And um, in that main page, you can see um, how the expenses compare to your income, okay? And that way, you know, you stay on track. You know, you're not spending more than you're supposed to because that's the goal. It's not making a lot of money. It's just spending a lot less than what you make. So you can see everything on the overview page. You can go to the budget page again and just adjust how much you want to spend on everything. Any question, please contact us.